Imagine finding out your partner was cheating through a Jumbotron image that was broadcast to millions of people. Now, to most people, this image would just look like a man consoling a woman on the recent Dallas Cowboys loss. But to people who knew this man's girlfriend, that image meant a whole lot more. And naturally, many, many people sent her the image, so many that she publicly came out and let everyone know that she is aware and she would like to stop seeing that image. Can you blame her? Now this sounds like a story that only happens in the movies. And I think that we all kind of are under the impression that it could never happen to us. But if you're dating or married to a serial cheater, it's a very real possibility. So before any of us find ourselves in this situation, I want to share 11 ways to spot a cheater. And yes, as we go through, I've got some more real life examples sprinkled in. Let's get to it. So if you suspect that you are dating or married to a cheater, your gut is probably already telling you something is wrong. You may already know your answer, but sometimes we need a little bit of encouragement. And that's what this list is about. It's not about getting someone in a healthy relationship to start questioning their partner for no reason. And as we go through these ways to spot a cheater, I think you'll see that's the case. So the first way to spot a cheater is to pay attention to any new sudden interests that might seem even a little bit out of character. So if, let's say, this person is suddenly interested in watching a sport that they've never watched before, maybe they're all in on learning how to play a new game, now suddenly becoming interested in something does not make someone a cheater. But if they are all in on this new thing and being a little bit dodgy about it and maybe even excluding you from it, it's a sign that you may want to dig a little bit deeper because someone who is trying to impress someone new might just take up a few new habits. So along those same lines, number two is a sudden interest in their appearance that seems out of the ordinary and is unexplained. So if someone suddenly starts dressing nicer, maybe getting manicures, getting haircuts more often, and especially if they're making an effort to look nice when they are not with you. So if this sudden interest in looking good only seems to apply to their life outside of your relationship, that could be a red flag. And for the third way to spot a cheater, we have another example. The third way is unexplained gaps in their timeline. And for this one, we can look to the story of former governor of South Carolina, Mark Sanford. Now, Mark Sanford up and left. He just disappeared for an entire week and no one knew where he was. His staff tried to cover for him by lying in saying that he was hiking the Appalachian Trail. In reality, he was in Buenos Aires with his mistress. And because he couldn't really explain where he was or why he disappeared. There were no good explanations for it. People started digging and they found out they uncovered the affair. So that is an example of an unexplained gap in someone's timeline. And this is a huge unexplained gap in somebody's timeline. A whole week, somebody disappearing for an entire week. It's not unheard of, but it's less common than somebody who can't account for chunks of their day. And I would say both are red flags. Now, if somebody can't account for a chunk of their day once, I'd say it's probably not a big deal. But if it's consistent and they are showing some other signs, maybe getting a little bit dodgy about it when you ask them, your intuition's gonna tell you exactly what's going on. So the fourth way to spot a cheater is to look for changes in their personality. And the types of changes that I'm talking about here are when somebody suddenly becomes extremely withdrawn for no reason. Now, of course, if they have a history of this or if they might be dealing with depression, could be something else at play and not cheating. But if they seem to be okay with everyone but you, and you're noticing some other signs here, this is a major red flag. Another way this one may manifest, the changes in their personality, is it might be changes in the way they speak, in their inflection, or the phrases they use. This affects some people more than others, but I'm sure you've known somebody who picks up accents when they talk to people who have that accent. Similarly, if somebody uses a specific inflection or if somebody uses phrases all the time and you're spending most of your time with that person, you might pick that stuff up. And so if you notice that this is happening and you're suspicious to begin with, this could be a sign that your partner is cheating. And this is one of those on the list that is not a concern if you're not noticing other signs. But there are some on this list that are basically non-negotiable, that if you're noticing this, 
your partner's cheating. And we'll get to those. For now, let's cover number four. The number four way to spot a cheater is to pay attention to how they protect their phone. Now, if you've been with somebody who's cheating, you recognize this. They keep their phone very close to them at all times and they'll keep it face down. So if they get a notification, they're going to maybe just peek a little bit before they put it down quickly again. And I wanna point out that there are other reasons why people may do this other than cheating. But if you're in a long-term relationship with somebody and they start doing it out of nowhere, especially if other signs are present, pay attention. So the sixth way to spot a cheater is to pay attention when they say they're working late and acting weird about it. So this one, not just working late, people work late all the time. But if somebody is acting really suspicious around their time spent at the office or wherever their job is, if they can't really answer questions about it without getting annoyed or defensive, that's a sign that this person might be cheating. Now, the story that we hear all the time about cheating at work is usually a man that's cheating with their assistant or somebody who reports to them. So for this example, I wanted to switch it up a little bit. So here we look at the story of Amy Koch. Amy was the former Minnesota majority leader and she had an affair with a staffer. Now, as the story goes, the press found out and presented it to her first and promised that they would give her time to tell her family before they exposed her. But as the story goes, they did not do this. So they publicly outed her before she had a chance to tell her family. And that doesn't seem like a very nice thing to do, but then again, neither does cheating and breaking up your family. So I guess I have mixed thoughts about how the press behaved in this case. I'd love to hear what you think. Let us know in the comments. So the seventh way to spot a cheater is to notice what they do as soon as they come into your home. So if this is somebody that you're living with and they shower and change before they even say hello, especially if this is unusual for them, this is a major red flag. Now there are some professions where it may be expected for somebody to do this, but of course, I'm not including those here. The eighth way to spot a cheater is to look out for rage and defensiveness whenever you mention anything that doesn't really make sense about their behavior. So again, if they're working late and you ask them about what they were doing at work, they might get angry and defensive. So what started as a simple question turns into a big blow up fight. Or you may experience number nine, which is them telling on themselves. Now, of course, they do this in a way that projects upon you. But here's a little example. Let's say your partner is male and he comes home smelling like flowers. And you could reverse this. It could be a woman who comes home smelling like cologne. But you point it out and you say, hey, you kind of smell like flowers. And they instantly blow up and rage out at you, screaming that you're accusing them of cheating when that's not what you did. Maybe you didn't even suspect they were cheating and it was just an innocent observation but cheaters often tell on themselves in this way. So the 10th way to spot a cheater is to look out for gaslighting. Now, this usually comes very simply in the form of the cheater accusing you of cheating. So if you are in a relationship with someone who is accusing you of cheating and you are absolutely not cheating and you know they have no reason to believe that, it might be a good time to start paying attention to what they're doing. Now, if somebody is really deep into this, they might even gaslight you about other things just to get you to question yourself and to get you to question your ability to see the truth of what's going on. Because if they can get you to question yourself, when you bring something up that they're doing, maybe cheating, you're definitely going to doubt yourself, especially if they are screaming at you, if they're raging out, if they're getting really defensive you're much more likely to back down if you don't trust yourself. And the 11th way to spot a cheater is to look out for signs from other people. You might get a random DM from a stranger telling you that they cheated with your partner or they know somebody who did. And whenever this happens, it doesn't necessarily mean that the other person is cheating. It could be somebody who's just trying to blow up your relationship. So pay attention to the source and pay attention to your gut and all the signs. If you don't believe your partner is cheating and there's no proof, then they may actually not be cheating. But for these next examples, 
that definitely wasn't the case. Now, these were people who were caught cheating and the person who caught them got proof. So for the first example, we're gonna look at a picture that a friend caught of her friend's boyfriend cheating. This guy got caught red-handed taking someone else on a date and his girlfriend's friend got proof and of course sent it to her friend immediately. Now that's something I would believe. And then there's a good Samaritan who had to listen to somebody brag about cheating for two hours on a train ride home. And so she snapped a picture of him and shared it on social media in hopes that whoever is dating or married to this man might see it and get out of that relationship. So if you could relate to the items on this list, you may benefit from watching my last video on the signs that your relationship might be over. And I'm gonna link to that right over here. And now there's going to be a little circle here that's gonna pop up. And if you click there, you could subscribe to this channel and you'll be in the know whenever I post new content. That's all for now. And I'll see you next time.